When you first think about a Subaru, many of you probably picture some sort of a rally car. Bright blue with a hood scoop and racing seats and a spoiler. But Subaru also has things of a much more practical variety. Like this, the 2015 Subaru Impreza sedan. This car also comes as a hatchback. While the compact sedan might not offer quite as much space as its hatchback counterpart, it does offer a nice alternative for those of us who aren't a big fan of hatchback styling. Speaking of styling, let's take a look at what the Impreza has to offer. It's about as vanilla as they come. The front end has been restyled and it looks fine, but nothing about how this car looks really stands out. It's just straight vanilla ice cream. Definitely could have used a little more flair and imagination from the design team. The best way to describe the 2.0 liter engine is to say it's adequate. It produces 148 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. That gives the Impreza a top speed right around 122 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of about 9 seconds. There's a few oddities with the Impreza's keyless entry system. With the key in your pocket, you can come up here and touch the handle and it's going to unlock the driver's side door. However, it only unlocks the driver's side door. The other doors back here stay locked. And if you want to change this, you can't just go into the settings like you can with other cars. You have to actually take it to the dealership. That can be kind of a nuisance. Another thing that can be kind of a nuisance is the trunk. You have to either have the key in your pocket or hold the button on the key fob to pop it in order for it to open. You can't just walk right up to it and open it. It can be kind of annoying if someone else is going to get something out of the trunk and they don't have the key. And it would be nice if you could just unlock the car and have the trunk unlocked as well. As you can see by this nifty badge here, this is a partial zero emissions vehicle. I know what you're thinking. How can you have part of zero? But what this actually means is that while the car still runs on gasoline, it has extremely clean emissions and zero evaporative emissions. This helps to give the car an EPA greenhouse gas rating of eight out of 10. The interior is a far cry better than what the Impreza used to have for an interior. The materials are all of a much higher quality and even some of these hard plastics here that you're gonna find on the doors and on the dashboard and things like that, they don't look like hard plastics. They don't have that ugly hard plastic look to them. The only place where it really looks like hard plastic is right here on the center of the steering wheel and a lot of cars have that. It's a much nicer and more refined look than what you would expect, especially considering where the Impreza has come from. The display here in the center can be either a 6.2 inch or a seven inch display, depending on what trim level you get. For us, we have a seven inch display and it's integrated really nicely into the center dash here and it looks very sleek. You have the big knobs here for climate control stuff and they look nice, they have a good feel to them. Just above them, you're gonna find the actual display itself and a couple of buttons along the side. It all has a really nice, clean, well put together, well thought out look to it. And it just sort of, it's a nice thing to not see too much going on in the center here. When it comes to Subarus and especially Imprezas, people liked to complain that they were too loud. And Subaru heard these complaints and did something about it. So for the 2015 Impreza, you're gonna find thicker glass for the doors and you're gonna find it better insulated from outside noise to try and cut down on some of that outside sound. It worked, but it's still a little bit on the loud side. So it's not gonna be the most quiet, luxurious thing you've ever driven, but it's gonna be a lot better than what it was in the past. The engine is paired still with the CVT, which a lot of times likes to drone and, and be a little bit on the noisy side. But Subaru has reprogrammed the CVT for the 2015 model to try and make it a little bit less obnoxious when you're driving it and to make it a little bit smoother and just a little bit more pleasant. Power is a little bit on the light side. Something that the Impreza does rather nicely is the handling and the steering. So. The steering feels nice and light and responsive, and the car has an excellent turning radius, which is always a benefit. 
but it's gonna make you want a little bit better performance from the car so that you can use that handling and that steering a little bit better. Something about this car that most people are probably gonna like is the fuel economy. You get 28 miles per gallon city, 37 miles per gallon highway for an average of 31 miles per gallon. It's an impressive number and it's something that everybody nowadays would have, is gonna appreciate. You're going to get a nice little display somewhere on one of your gauges that's gonna show you how many miles you have until you're empty. So this one has that too. It's actually located up here in the, on the center dash. The issue with it is it goes in increments of 10. So it's not the most precise thing in the world. The 2015 Subaru Impreza is a practical car that has a lot of quality features, great fuel economy, and impressive safety features. However, from a driving standpoint and from a styling standpoint, it leaves kind of a lot to be desired. So depending on who you are and what type of car you're looking for, you're either gonna find the Impreza to be painfully boring or absolutely perfect for your everyday life.